pretty. So today we're going to take a look at a Hot Toys exclusive, which is the Star Wars Stormtrooper porcelain pattern version. So this is basically a Stormtrooper that's been reimagined to have the oriental type porcelain pattern thing, as you see here. I saw this guy back in the day, around 2018 like that, on a storefront, and I really, really wanted to get him, but the price point the seller was... The seller had for him was way way too much so i had to pass on it because yeah i wasn't willing to spend that much yet on a hot toys i didn't think i'll be going into hot toys but here i am oh well so this is him finally in my collection i got him on a local listing i basically scooped him up as soon as possible and here he is finally in my collection. Now I really really like it when Hot Toys does these reimaginings of characters like they put their own spin on it. Unfortunately they don't do any more of these things anymore. I don't know because of licensing or resources or whatever but you don't see Hot Toys making these types of designs anymore which is unfortunate. So yeah I think along with this they made other stormtroopers like there's a copper, silver, and gold one. I'm thinking of getting the copper one sometime in the future, but I'm not in a rush to get that. So yeah, you know what, with that being said, let's take a look at this pretty Stormtrooper. And here's the Stormtrooper in all his, well, well patterned glory. Let's see if I could fix the light, it's kind of blowing it out. This guy is super, super shiny. And there he is. I mean, look at that. Look at all this detail they put into him. So this basically this whole idea is to reflect the porcelain styles of uh, what do you call plates and vases and all that. And look at that. I'll do a close up later, but yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> I still can't get over like I have him. I have to put him on the base. I really like the base they gave for him. It looks like a museum base, but I really do not want him to fall because I'm scared of scratches and all that, so I have him propped up on his base. But this base I appreciate. It looks like a museum piece. You know what, let's punch in and see a closer look at this guy. So here's a more closer look at the Porcelain Stormtrooper. And you can see he has his um, Imperial seal there. This is, it's red because it shows the make. I learned that in art school, like if it's a red thing on a like a painting or something it's like the the creator or the maker of that painting they, they they stamp it with a red stamp and that's i guess true to form yeah the imperial did make stormtroopers look at that jesus <laughs> i mean when i saw this when i opened the box i was i was gushing i kept the foams on his little what you call back of his knees because I'm really scared of scratching and all that so I kept them in there plus they're at the back so you don't really see it so it's fine yeah this is him this is the porcelain stormtrooper there's no real story behind this guy this is just a fun little uh design choice hot toys made back in the day yeah this is him very nicely detailed I mean I checked Every pattern, there is not one error I saw. Everything is perfect. So yeah, let's take a look at what he comes with, which is not a lot, but you know, it's, it's okay. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Base detail, rifle blaster, blaster, belt, lunchbox, hand, 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 hand. And this is the stuff the Porcelain Stormtrooper comes with. Now, truthfully, it's not a lot for the price point I got him for, but truthfully, you don't really need a lot for this guy. You don't want to overload him with accessories, so this is okay with me. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at his honking rifle thing. So this is his, um, I guess, massive rifle, sniper rifle thing. And yeah, it's, it's all white and blue, and it does have some blue tinge, if you can see here. Now this is indicative of uh, porcelain pieces, plates, bowls, uh, figurines. They do have this type of blue bleeding effect. So this is like a design choice, I think, from Hot Toys. So this does come out, it does retract. 
if you guys have um, Stormtrooper Hot Toys before, these are basically the same weapons, just, you know, painted differently. Let's see if I can get it. Ooh, that's... These are all articulated. The targeting stuff is articulated. This is articulated too. I still, I, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Maybe this is a scope or something. Some kind of futuristic scope, but yeah, this is it. So you can see some of the blue tinge you could see here. Eesh. And yeah, it does, do, it does do that, but I don't know. Okay. A useless feature, but fine. <laughs> so this is his honking blaster thing. Very, very intimidating. I don't know if it's a repeater or a single shot, but it looks cool nonetheless. So yeah, this is one weapon. Ooh. The second weapon is of course the traditional Stormtrooper blaster. As you can see here, it's white and blue. It does carry on the blue tinge. You can see here, what is wrong with my camera today? Yep, there we go. Now this one does fold out. Like, I don't know what's wrong with recent um, blasters from Stormtroopers on Hot Toys and... But they don't do this anymore. They don't like go all the way out and do that. They're, they get stuck here because they didn't make the, the this part wide enough or something. So it gets stuck on the handle. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like the Cody ones, the 504. The, the 501st clone trooper ones they don't really retract all the way which is kind of dumb uh yeah this is about it really it's, it's basically your standard blaster but it's just blue and white you can see there do a slow pan here yeah that's about it Dun -dun -dun. next we have his lunchbox <laughs> I know this isn't his launch box. Uh, from what I've read or what I know about this piece is from the concept art for Star Wars, this is like a lightsaber holder or something. But they chose to keep it because Stormtroopers were supposed to have like lightsaber batons or something. And this is like their, their holster for it, but I, I don't know. They got rid of the lightsaber idea, but they chose to keep this into their costume design. So yeah, this is it. This is uh, white and blue. Yeah, okay. We. Okay, next we have the alternate base pattern. If you choose to have this instead of the blue felt. Now I chose to keep the film on this guy because I don't want to use this at all. Because if you guys know, this is a pretty old hot toy and I think I don't know which one, but some stormtroopers leave like their footprints on the base. Like they leave like their residue on the base and it's really hard to get out. Even if you get it out, it'll leave a stain regardless. So I chose not to use this. I, I just want to keep it as is. And yeah, this is the Imperial seal, I think. And yeah, this is it. I don't think I'll ever use this because of the staining issue. But it's nice to have. So next we have his belt. I don't know what these belts are. Are they ammo belts or whatever? Please let me know in the comments because I don't know what these are. Are they for ammo? I have yet to see a Star Wars blaster be reloaded. Oof, God. And then it has some floral patterns here. Very nice. Has another floral pattern here. I could focus there. Yeah, this is his belt. And then we also have his hands. There's, these are all standard Stormtrooper hands, really. So we have the, the fist hands of the Stormtrooper. Kind of look like surgical gloves. Again, there are no weathering effects on this particular figure because you don't really want weathering effects on this. It's supposed to look like a very delicate Stormtrooper design. And putting weathering effects on this would probably detract and be a bit too busy, you know? So there's his trigger fingers if you want to hold both weapons on each hand. And of course you got his relax or holding hands here. Oh god, 
What is wrong with my camera today? Sorry about that. I'll try to do it slowly so it doesn't freak out. So if he wants to hold something here. And then finally we have his stop hand or halt hand, which is the same as any other stormtrooper hand really. Very, very sausagey fingers. So yeah, with that being said, let's stick all of this junk onto this very pretty Stormtrooper. And here's the porcelain Stormtrooper all loaded up with all his accessories. Now, like I said before, you don't really need a lot of accessories for this guy because his overall design compensates for his lack of stuff. And you don't really want to overload him with stuff because it might detract him from his patterns and all that. And look at this. Took a few years, but I finally got him. Yeah. This is him. <laughs> oh, wow. So let's do a fun comparison with a normal Stormtrooper. So here's a comparison with the Deluxe Stormtrooper. Now this is the Stormtrooper that comes with the Imperial Wall that lights up. And yeah, this is them side by side. And as you can see, the sculpt work is the same, truthfully. It's just the different paint apps and execution. I mean, their eyes, this one is green, that one's blue. But other than that, they're basically the same figure, just different paint apps. As you can see here, let's do one rotation there, as you can see. Damn, that looks super nice. <laughs> I want to stick this guy in my living room, but you know, the cats tend to play around at night and they tend to knock things down. So yeah, it's a very nice art piece for me. So with that being said, let's take a close look at this pretty, pretty trooper. And here's a close up of the porcelain stormtrooper. And as you can see, his eyes are blue. Got some floral patterns on his helmet here. Even the flowers have some imperial insignias on them. Now, even though these patterns look like they're repeating, the way they laid them out on this trooper makes them look different on different angles. Hopefully you could, I could catch that on this dinky little camera phone. See, his arms even got some imperial type designs. Got some Star Wars language there, if anybody knows what that means. Yeah, his back. Like, I like how they did the lines as well. It looks like it's hand painted. It's not straight, it's not uniform. It's very haphazardly done. So, to you know, to keep that illusion that this was all handmade. So you can see here, you got some walkers there. Just chilling on the beach, I guess. So you got an Imperial Seal flower looking thing. Then the repeat of the walkers on his back. Even his undies got some flower treatment. See here, I kept the foam there so those two pieces won't rub together too much. Yeah, I got his feet. Got the felt lining. Unfortunately, it's gotten a little dusty. Yeah. Then his base says Stormtrooper, blue and white porcelain. Now, I really don't like Hot Toys um, bases, but this one I really appreciate because it looks like a museum piece. It's got the felt, got the clear acrylic. And it's got a crotch grabber that doesn't really, it's not so obnoxious, you know? Got his gun there. So yeah, this is him. This is the porcelain stormtrooper. Never thought I'll get him, but here he is in my room, in my collection. So with that being said, let's stick this pretty boy in the detolf case with his friends. 
And this is where I'll stick the porcelain stormtrooper with his stormtrooper buddies. Yeah, glad I got him. I thought I would never have him in my collection, truthfully, because he's that rare and not many people want to let him go. But here he is, just chilling out in my cabinet. So if you're, you know, you don't really have to be into Star Wars to appreciate this guy. If you like art stuff or like little reimaginings of characters, then this is perfect for you. I kind of want to put him in his own display cabinet, like his very own bell jar or whatever. Just, just have him in there. But, you know, I don't think I have the space for that. Oh, let's see. There you go. So yeah, that's my little humble review over this guy. Very nice. Pick him up if you can. Because Hot Toys no longer does these one-offs. So, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If not, then, you know, whatever. Just wanted to put it out there. Because there's not a lot of videos over this guy. So, with that being said, go get him!